Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Seon Kyu Han, I'm a postdoctoral fellow at Boston Children's Hospital. I'm excited to share with you my ongoing work. The, one of the major challenges in human genetics is to understand how non-coding mutations affect human traits and disease. The most of these non-coding GWAS variants are thought to be in a transcription of regulatory variants, and the chromatin accessibility assays become a standard method for identifying such regulatory elements. So, however, there is a substantial variation in the data quality, and low quality data can confound downstream analysis, which can potentially lead to incorrect interpretations. To tackle this, we developed GKMQC that can assess the data quality and further refine them to build a high quality data set. And we will show how regulatory elements from high quality data can help us to better understand GWAS variants in this study. We hypothesized that the better quality samples derive a more accurate sequence-based predictive model because high quality peaks have a clear sequence signature of regulatory elements. So we applied GKMSVM to quantify and train sequence features and train GKMSVM stores weight vector of KMERS that present the sequence space of open chromatin peaks. And because of the different expectation of sequence prediction performance according to peak signal strengths, and GKMQC divide entire peaks into subsets stratified by signal strengths, and then independently trains and cross-validate GKMSVM models with each subset. And finally, GKMQC present the degradation of AUC scores called DAUC as a representative quality matrix of a sample. Then what quality factor did GKMQC capture and have understanding non-coding GWAS variants? Here we found that GKMQC captures how open chromatin peaks precisely specify genomic location of core regulatory L regions. And let's see the functionally relevant GWAS locus in KLHDC7 which is fine mapped by EGFR GWAS with EQTL colocalization. And we can see 17 high quality samples of developing kidney so that maximize the aligned mapping of peaks proximal to the locus. In this context, so core regulatory region is the centroid of aggregated peaks across samples. And we also confirm that the same trends in multiple peaks and functional GWAS loci with statistical significance. To generalize the contribution of open chromatin peaks in high quality samples to explain the GWAS loci of relevant phenotypes, and we conducted stratified LD score regression and compared the LDSC coefficient so between over 100 high quality samples versus low quality ones. The heat map demonstrate variants from high quality samples and systematically contribute the more to high turbidity than low quality samples for 30 relevant traits from UK Biobank and Kidney to us. And we also confirm the statistical significance of the increased coefficient values in high quality samples compared to low quality ones. Finally, GKMQC furthermore optimized the peak calling to which improves single cell atoxic data with sparse read mapping. So we focused on the rare cell type of kidney called porocyte, which is a main player of kidney filtration physiology. The seeing GKMQC curve of porocyte peak, the last peak subset has higher AUC near point A. That means the peak is undercored due to the limited read coverage. So we record the peaks with a relaxed statistical threshold and then filter out the peak subset with a low AUC score and now we can get more 25K porocyte peaks by GKMQC optimization. And using stratified LD score regression, we also successfully identified the additional peaks contributes to heritability of kidney functional traits. The contribution to heritability is specific to kidney relevant traits, suggesting that the newly added peaks have tissue specific function. Thanks, and feel free to discuss the poster not covered in this presentation via email or asynchronous Q&A section.